Here we are back for our rock cycle lab. Now we are at station number four. This station is about metamorphic rocks. So I have on my tray right here um, a sample of that niece that we talked about. You remember this is the one that's spelt really funny, G-N-E-I-S-S. -S. Um, but I've got some really good samples of it here to look at. So this one you can see those super cool lines in it. See how it's got the kind of red lines and the black lines and it. it's pretty sparkly. You can see all the sparkles whenever we turn it in the light just right. And then I have another sample of this same type of rock. It just looks a little bit different. So this one has black lines and very white lines in it. But this is still the same thing. This is still nice. I'm going to show you this one right here too because I think it's pretty, pretty, pretty. So you see how this one kind of loops around and comes back? That's how we know that this rock was folded up. It was not, it doesn't have just straight lines all the way through like a sedimentary rock would lay down. You remember gravity is always pulling straight down. So if you have a sedimentary rock in layers, those layers are gonna be straight. This type of rock right here, the layers are not gonna go straight across all the time. They might be close like this one, but they're not gonna be like that all the time. So. These lines right here, I just think that's really, really cool. Okay, first question is draw a picture of Nice on your paper. So this would be the last type of rock that you're gonna draw. So I'll let you look at this one. You can kind of see it's got, oh, they're not really circles, but they're not straight lines either, but they're definitely those foliations, the ribbon-like bands. Here is one right here. Now this one, this line is straight across, but if you imagine, this is a teeny tiny rock that they took from a big rock. And this being a foliation, it's not gonna look the same throughout the whole big giant rock. We've got a really tiny sample right here. That's why that looks straight. Here is one right here. Oh, I, I wish you guys could see that a little bit clearer because it looks really, really kind of cool. Um, here's the back side of it. You can see it's got kind of a red color, but you can see all those sparkles whenever the light hits it. This definitely has some crystals in it, which is super cool. Um, so draw me a picture of that rock. The next question says, how did it form? Well, it formed the same way all other metamorphic rocks form, deep underground, and they form because of heat and pressure. So metamorphic rocks take existing rocks, whatever type they may be, they squish them under lots of pressure and they get heated up, not melted, just hot enough where they can kind of squish and fold and do all kinds of fun, cool stuff, like those foliated lines, but they don't melt. So metamorphic rocks form under heat and pressure. Next question, imagine you're a geologist telling others about this rock sample. How would you describe it? So you've got a couple different rocks you could look at here. Either one of these, you can describe this rock in the question there and just tell, like, I'm a geologist and I want to know what type of rock it is you're looking at. What does it look like? What does it do? This one right here is probably the most interesting looking one to me because you can see that, that little rock in the middle there with a the black around it and then it has this over on this side. I don't know. I just think that's really cool. So, how would you describe this rock to me? Describe it in the question. Last but not least is nice foliated or non-foliated metamorphic rock. I'm going to let you go ahead and answer that. Surely, after the talk that we just had, you will know. Y'all are amazing. Go ahead and answer the questions below. I've just got some just random rock cycle questions for you. Um, when you're finished, go ahead and turn this assignment in. Y'all are amazing, and we will see you back here tomorrow.